I'm Bo Clark. And I'm Stassi Schroeder Clark. And, and uh, this is the good, the bad, the, the baby. baby. Does that mean that I'm the bad because you're the good and yes. we're having a baby? I feel like that's a really good statement. This is a parenting family centric podcast. It's family centric, but we will be using like curse words. And it's not like advice. Like we're not, we have no fucking idea what we're doing. No clue. So we're not going to hold back. We're going to be extremely unfiltered. Um, try not to judge. I'd like this to be like a mom shaming free zone. So let's get started. Welcome to the good, the bad, the baby. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. It's a glorious fucking day. Not to be all annoying, uh, you Los Angeles. Can't talk about the weather. Yeah, Jesus. I am. Yeah, I am. Because You're guess old. what? I have been so tired. And I know, like, partly because I'm pregnant, but like, I've been so tired. And I feel like it's because we haven't had sunshine. And normally, I'm like somebody when I see, like, when I wake up in the morning and I see that it's spooky weather, I'm like, Fuck yes, spooky spook spook weather, mm -hmm. Halloween weather, hocus pocus weather. I'm so into it. But we've had four million of them. No, I know. I feel like we've been, they, they get it. I feel like we've had, we've talked about this for the last like right. five episodes okay. because it's just, and everyone's like, wow, you have rain. Shut the fuck up. I know, but like <laughs> it's been affecting me yeah. in in a lot of different ways know, okay it's making me like unmotivated it's been making me really tired and so i haven't wanted to do anything like even bo you saw the other day like i got up with hartford then i worked out after that i took a shower and i literally was like comatose i had to get back in bed i took a nap and when i woke up from that nap i just laid there like i couldn't it was it was like the idea of getting up and moving that was funny. It was funny to me. Like I even made Bo go up and get me a pie. I was like, I'm going to need you to heat up this pie and bring it downstairs with some iced tea. Now. And like I had things to do. And I was like, wait, you want me to bake this thing? No, it's already baked. Like, I just need you to heat it up, man. And I was like, what, in the microwave? And you're like, yeah. And I was like, that's gross. No, it's not. You don't reheat pies in a mic. Like, I would it, eat a pie it cold. Wasn't, it wasn't even an op like a cut. It was like a perfectly unopened like dug into pie with like still like cr like you don't nuke that and you made like you nuked it it's like it I don't was know. delicious it, was, it just you the, the, it doesn't have the crispy flake it's like soggy it's a soggy pie you ate a soggy soggy bottoms i didn't feel like Paul it was Holly would i know look yeah. at that and just say no i didn't feel like it was a soggy pie it definitely didn't have a soggy bottom it was delicious anyway it, like I, i've been having those types of days but today yesterday oh my god i got so much done just because it's so sunshiny like mm -hmm. all i want to do is be outside i drove your car yesterday and i opened up the the sunroof the sunroof and like just did my thing like in between my doctor's appointments <laughs> i just i just i always want to know like what happens if you ever roll down the window and in, and in, in my subaru and it's like with the with the way i've talked about it and it's like some guys just sitting over and there's like some some little blonde woman <laughs> in a wagon a station wagon and then all of a sudden he looks down and realizes it's like Wow, this this car's really high up, and there's rally lights, and it's like big Jeep tires. They're like, what? What is she? Into? You know just, what? I've never just, really thought about that. Every time I, I drive your car, and it's funny because you've randomly, we've all randomly. This is a dumb thing, but for some reason, our grocery store. Well, I know reason why is like our grocery store is next to Schwartz and Sandy's. So like the paparazzi live there. So there's just like, I feel like th there's randomly like Daily Mail's just bored that I've seen like three photo, three <laughs> different articles grocery, of yeah. going to the grocery <laughs> store or us like walking out. And I'm like, d like, first of all, like we just, but I'm like sitting there going like, why isn't it like that? Like, I want to see them, you by yourself and then them like taking you photos. You want your car in the background of my car. shot. Yeah. I want them to see Stassi Schroeder gets into very unique car. Yes. You know, you would think you'd get into so I, I don't yeah, know. They it's don't just, ever really show. They haven't really shown the car. I guess. Well, no, it's fine. But I feel like they are, they technically normally don't do that. So people can't like. I don't really see. think that, that that those people have any scruples. I, I don't know. think that they're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just not going to invade their privacy that much and take photos of their car. I don't think they're thinking. If it was, if it was but a Ferrari. We literally got like we got followed all the way to Las Vegas last like in 2020. Oh, yeah, true. I don't think that they care whether they they're oh, there, well, yeah. we can't get her car. 
Yeah. Because we want to keep her safe. Yeah, true. While he's tailing us <laughs> oh my God, for I four forgot, and a half I forgot, hours I to Las the Vegas. Guy, the, the Las Vegas guy. Uh, he was pissed. No, I, I've been wondering about the paparazzi situation because like, okay, I remember this from last time, from from the last pregnancy. And I know that like paparazzi are interested in pregnant people. I just know because like I look at all these news sites and all of a sudden when someone's pregnant, like they're always, it, photos of them are always everywhere. And so it's like, oh, like people are just really interested in a woman's changing pregnant body. That's just like, a thing. And I realized that last time. And so I knew that like there'd be some interest, but like we're really kind of boring. So like there's no scandal around me right now. So I'm like, I don't think I, I didn't really think that anyone would dig our photo this time. <laughs> and so now like I don't pay attention. I mean, I never or it's like, uh, like, um, can you give me like a um, Rob's coming over? Can you give me a six pack and a bottle of tequila while you're there? But then you get like you get like the case <laughs> and all of a sudden yeah. you're, you're walking out with like groceries and then like the, the carrying case of like a bottle of tequila and a six pack. And they're like Saucy Schroeder leaves leaves Gelson's with a bottle of but tequila. Both. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh my God. But like I've been wondering, like, how do they know? I've thought Where trackers. We're at. No, no, Bo, like, I feel like we have trackers on our car. I, I literally and I, do. And, I you, think and people that, might listen to me like, y'all, this is dumb. No, I think There's we do. Some... You guys, we have been at places that I'm like, there is no fucking way. When we went to the observatory with Hartford, oh, yeah. I didn't even we didn't post until we weren't there. We do a really good job of like, we don't really post where we're at until, until we after, leave. Yeah. Okay. So we went to the observatory, then took Hartford to the park, not even the park that we regularly go to. And then we went to go eat lunch. We didn't post about the observatory yet. So like they didn't know we were even like in that area. And all of a sudden the next day, there are photos of us at the park yeah. with her. How? And then at the grocery store or at the place we were eating, which I guess is it's, it's right next to Schwartz and Sandy's. Well, that's like, why I'm always like, and so then, like that and then, makes sense. Yeah. But the park, how'd they know? Also, I saw photos of of myself. Just me at Albertsons. That's not even the grocery by Schwartz and, Schwartz and Sandy's. That's a different one. I love that Albertsons. And me too. They have yeah, so many more options like, that, that, than Gelson's. That, that's like 20, 20 extra minutes away. How? So like I, no one was following me. Like no one. Like who? Were you in I my car or your car? I was in my car because I dropped yeah. Hartford off at her music class. Like, yeah, I was in my car. Like, I don't know. It's fucking weird. I it know that this conversation is what? No, I'm sorry. Keep going. I know that this conversation isn't relatable <laughs> whatsoever, but it's just strange. And, it, and like, honestly, it stresses me out. The other about. day, <laughs> wait, hold on. Bo, the other day, I literally was like, Sonia, Sonia's our nanny. If you're new here, I was like, I need to go to the grocery. I was like, why don't, like, she could leave early and I'm just going to take Hartford with me to the grocery. And then she was like, oh, but you got to look cute. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to though. Like, I don't feel like changing my outfit. Like, I'm comfortable right now. And then she's like, I got to put Hartford in something. Cute. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Like, then I'd rather just not go. Just like, this is so after annoying. The, after the last thing that I saw that someone sent me, I was like, okay. Every time, literally, the second those Gelson sliding doors open, it's like we are like we should start we smiling. Are theater. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start laughing and be like, pee 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 poo poo. <laughs> oh, hold hands, hold hands. Hold Let's hand. all hold hands. Like, I'm gonna, I have Harvard all the groceries. Smile. Smile. <laughs> goo -goo -goo -goo. Oh my God. How do we get into this? What was I? Um, well, we were talking about, about my day yesterday yes, and how and the I. the cars and then. Yes. Yeah. And I had such a wonderful day because I went to my doctor's appointment. And okay, real talk. So, like, on TikTok, I see all of these women who like post, like, um, their post doc, like these pregnant women who post their, like, their post doctor's appointment routine and it's always McDonald's. Have I talked about this on no. the podcast? Okay. I've just talked about it with you before. Well, there's a, it's That's very interesting because there's literally McDonald's like two minutes away from, from ours. One Yours. minute away. One minute. Like I can see it. I yeah. walk out the, the doctors yes, and I'm like, there it is. The golden arches. So I'm like, that's so funny that like my TikTok is literally sending me all of these women who like, they're like, it's like a reward. It's like their reward. They talk about how it's their reward for going to the doctor to check on their baby. <laughs> and I think it's really funny. And because what there's was, one right by us. So it makes me feel better about doing it myself. So like I went, I just they have like, some weird, like, because they're pregnant, like, you know, how people are like extra pickles. Like today it's talk about like any, some like weird food things that normally like, this is what I always get like the Big Mac, but now that I'm pregnant and I'm treating myself, 
I'm getting this, 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 this. Is it, do they talk about like some weird McDonald's things that they used to not like, but now they like? Not really, but that would make it interesting. You know? Although like I'm not eating anything weird. It's all the same things. But I just Although I did like buy the grocery store. It a little bit. Cinnabon pudding yesterday. What? <laughs> I tried Cinnabon it. Cinnabon pudding. If, Cinnabon. Cinnabon. The what? brand. C- Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Isn't it Cinnabon? Like it's Cinnab- Cinnabon. It's Cinnabon. Don't look at me. Adam. We're gonna. Do you want to bet? I'm not betting. I just said twenty minutes. Twenty. No. The Cinnabon that you see in like the airports in the malls. The, what the hell is that? Is that like the cinnamon version of Wetzel's pretzels? It's Cinna- Yeah, Cinnabon. Cinnabon. Oh, I didn't know that was a brand name. I just. I was. A co- it is. Anyway, so I did buy Cinnabon pudding because that caught my pregnant eye. (laughs) And I was like, hmm, that looks delicious. I came home. I tried it. It wasn't. But Hartford loved it. I didn't like it. Oh. To me, I mean, it tasted too much like chemicals. But like Hartford. But you gave it to our daughter. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) Like, I know I like the logic. (laughs) The the, the parental loving logic. Meaning like, I didn't like the taste, the chemically (laughs) taste. But which means there's chemicals in it. So you give her, you give a whole container to our daughter who's like still she, developing she like loved it no oh, like I'm she sure was so she into did. it she was being so cute with me she was just like sitting eating it over the coffee table and also she started like doing this of so like sugar <laughs> high and then like no wonder she didn't go down to sleep that one night no she really liked it anyway i listen i had a really good day yesterday i went to my doctor's <laughs> appointment i went to mcdonald's and i only just get a diet dr pepper and the little cheeseburger because i'm like Okay, if I just get this, it's like a mini meal. So like, I did you get fries? No, I never really get fries. Did you get chicken nuggets? No. So, oh, so you didn't use my little air conditioned dip holder? No, I'm not a chicken nuggets girl. I'm not a fries girl. No. It's just about the little mini, the just the, the normal cheeseburger. cheeseburgers. No and flurry. No, and the diet Dr Pepper, and then I got in my car, and so I had to go meet Low to do a podcast. But That's there a was like treat. To be honest, honestly, I would have like at least I, ha- I would have at least been like you know when you go to Taco Bell and you just buy a bunch of things, you just take one bite of everything. Yes, and you I just w- get like I mm, two bites. Okay, you guys, a little thing about me while I'm pregnant, I have zero self control. So what I order is important. If I order in a healthy way, like, or I order in like the the best way. You wouldn't go to McDonald's. Then that's all I eat. No, <laughs> meaning like if I were to order like four different things, I would wouldn't be able to stop. I <laughs> wouldn't be able to just take one bite of each. I would literally consume all the things. So in order for me to not consume all the things, I have to just buy one little So when my, when I get into my car and it randomly just smells like grease, to yes. hamburger, cheeseburger grease. That's me. I know where you went. So after that, I was like, well, I still have like an hour to kill so like what do i do i tried to go to jones on third to get the salad dressing i like but parking was too hard so i just drove around with the sun with in your trooper of a car with like the sun ceiling thing open you have one in your car why do you act like this is like like you don't have one you have the you have the full panoramic moon roof thing where the whole car top is glass yeah 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 true okay so then then I went to my favorite place that I haven't gone to in so long. Okay. Larchmont Wine and Cheese, where they make the sandwiches, those European sandwiches uh-huh, at the deli. With the, with the bread. Yes. And I waited. It was the longest line ever. But that sandwich was so... So I had like two meals, like back to back. I had a McDonald's cheeseburger and then I went and got half I a sandwich. I love bread. And it was so delicious. It was so much better than I even thought. The ciabatta bread that they have. You guys, this is what I order. I'm just getting really specific yeah, about my day. Yes. The half ciabatta bread with turkey, and it comes with um, mixed greens, arugula, balsamic, an aioli, and Swiss cheese. And it is just like, it, you feel like you're eating a European sandwich, like you're eating a sandwich in fucking Italy or something. And it was just so nice to just like have those like hour, that hour and a half to myself in your tank of a car and like eat Wait, you delicious ate in, You food. ate in my car? Yeah. You ate in my car. In it. In the car. In it. Okay, Jackie Schimmel. I didn't have it. Where else would I eat? I was driving from place to place. Outside for, of Larchmont Wine and Cheese? I didn't have time. That's when I texted you and I said, I'm running 10 minutes late. I looked at the GPS and I was like, fuck. Oh. I ended up not being late because GPS I just is, can't help it but be on time. That did surprise me because you're never late. Well, it was because the Larchmont Deli line was so fucking long. I didn't realize, but I wasn't going to leave. Like I was already in it. You know what I mean? So then I finally get to the podcast studio and Bo. I know I already told you the story, but I didn't tell the listeners. I almost had a bridesmaids moment. 
where I go poop in my pants. <laughs> it was so horrible. I literally, I got there and I was like, low. I need to fucking use the bathroom. Like, I can't even talk right now. Like, I feel like I'm dying. Like, I'm sweating. Like, I'm, like in the car, I felt like it was coming on. But, like, the Larchmont Wine and Cheese Place, they don't have a bathroom there. So, like, I didn't know what to do. So, I was just in the car like, oh, no. Like, oh your no. internal abs were just at work at, like, I holding everything in? felt like I was having contractions. Like, it was... Reverse contractions. Literally, like, holy shit. And then I'm like, oh, my God. Of course, this is one of those fucking buildings where it's the lobby. And they're like, we we'll come down and get you. I'm like, fuck no like there's like just like not like whatever happened like whatever happened to buildings business buildings you know that in the lobby they have restrooms communal homeless. restrooms for people homeless in los angeles because well, the, anyone can just walk in and move in all i know is that like i was about to die and i was about i was literally thinking in my brain should I just go back to the car and say, we have to reschedule this. I'm so sorry. And then poop my pants in the car. <laughs> in <laughs> your car. car. <laughs> or like, what do we do? Because I don't know if I can make it. And I would, I'd really like to not poop in front of <laughs> a stranger. You know what's worse? It's like, <laughs> if, but using it on those floors, they do have them because some, I feel like that would have like a buzz in, kind of get in. They, you didn't ask the, the receptionist. There was no, there, there was, was no, no receptionist. receptionist. It was like, literally like, we live in the future, like AI, like we, AI were the ones monitoring the lobby. Oh like, we, we found out after there was a bathroom, but it was behind a closed door. Like there was no way we could have seen there was it. No there signage. was no one we could have asked. No. So like, I literally am thinking all of the things and finally the girl comes down and I'm like, listen, I'm really sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, I just really need to go to the bathroom. Like really bad. Like I can't do anything until... I go to the bathroom. So she's like, oh, yeah, no, fine. The girls, the girls that I was podcasting with, they were like, they have to go to the, they're going to the bathroom too. And I was like, no, like I won't be able to do that. Like I literally, I, I'm sorry. I've talked about my experience before. I went to all girls Catholic school. I have poop fright and I like, I just can't do it in well, front so, of people. So do I. And if that ever happens again, right when you get there, you cough loudly and you flush. You do a courtesy flush. I learned that from Austin Powers. So courtesy flush. So right when you go down, you put your pants on and you go down and right when you know it's going to come out, you flush and you cough. And, it, and, the, and the flush and the cough, <laughs> it'll, it'll drown out that first sign. And then okay, once it goes down try. again. Hold on. Okay. Right I when you sit down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're gassing, you're going to make, it's going to make some noise. You flush it out and then you wait, you hold it in. If you got it, if you feel like it's going to make another sound, then you just wait again and you just keep flushing and, and coughing at the same time and it'll drown it out. If you have, if there's other coughing people in there, it's aggressive. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it'll, it'll, it'll just work or, you know, you, you get on your alarms and you make the, the phone where it's the sound is like you're ringing. Yeah. And it's, it's just, you just like. A blow out the whole bathroom with noise. All right. Not, not with your booty. Okay. Thank you for yeah. that advice. Yeah. You know what's so crazy, Bo, is that you know that I always have poopery in my purses. This was the one time I didn't because I changed into like my little mini Chanel I was just going to say because you keep having, bag. your purses keep getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. That's because fucking Gen Z just, they keep saying that smaller and smaller purses are in style. It's, it's really because annoying. They, they like lo lost their smartphones and they went back to the razor to I be know. cool. That's true. That's true. So anyway, I'm like, I can't go to this communal bathroom. And like, it was like God shine a fucking shimmering bright light on me in that very moment. It's like, or sh the, the girl who was like showing me, like just could feel the panic that I was like radiating. And she was like, or there's this like private one. If you want to go to it, and it's like, Fuck yes, the private one. Like, why didn't you offer that from the beginning? And then I saw that you guys were waiting right outside of it, and I'm like, oh no, my god, we couldn't hear anything. I honestly we were, don't even that's care. When you turn, we were that's like when you 50 turn on feet away. I, I I didn't even care. Turn on the faucet and the private ones. I did not care. It was like, oh my god, thank the Lord, I had this privacy right now. Like, I don't even give a fuck if anyone is like waiting in line right after me and has to come in here afterwards. You know I am pregnant. Like, it, to me, like when you're pregnant, it's like you have an excuse to so, like any. Anything like embarrassing that happens to you, you're like, so the fuck what? I'm making a baby. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Could you That's imagine? That's how I feel. So like if anyone tried to like make fun of me being like, wow, like you just went to the bathroom and really stinks. And I'd be like, I'm making a fucking baby. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, it's so awful when they give you private rooms and it's inside the podcast studio. And you're like, wait, wait, oh my wait God. have you been? That's uh, really? Well, I've just, I've just been in like random, like 
places where you go like, oh, there's a private. And it's like, or even like that small restaurant that we went to in New York City. Don't for talk the, to me about that one for the Sprint, for <laughs> Sprint Society. And I was sitting oh. there looking like, man, if I'm so glad I don't have to go number two right now because that bathroom is literally right next to this table. Oh, and what happens? Like, what's in there? Is it a single? And there's all these influencer girls going in and out. Like, what if? I, you know, that's how I feel at Jet Suite. Oh, the yeah. worst oh, fucking yeah, yeah, bathroom. Yeah. And you know what are the worst bathrooms, you guys? The ones at Jet Suite. When it's like the size, the whole bathroom is the size of a regular bathroom. And they try to put two in at once. But they make it a stall. So, like, the person who's literally wash, standing by the sink to wash their hands, you're literally just separated by like five inches. Five. Uh, from, an inch. Well, no, meaning like, physically like there's uh, yeah. I was being sarcastic but like it's the size of a you normal can, like, reach private out your toe and be like Hi. yeah like it's like <laughs> it's so fucking weird like so there's just one little mini stall in there but it, the whole bathroom is the size of a regular private yeah. bathroom it it makes zero fucking sense and like i just feel like those should be outlawed i'm surprised there hasn't been there's not someone hasn't created an app especially during like 2020 where they just made great bathrooms for number 2 in your local city like there should be like a little that just went well, to this great thing. It's a restaurant. You can just oh, walk app. right in. Oh app yeah. That is where a, it's just like, Oh, you're driving out. Cause most of the time it's like, you gotta, if you're on the highway, you just go to, gotta go to a you McDonald's. You gotta do something like that. About a app. new business venture. Oh my With gosh. Your little Google flag thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Max, there we go. You should start so that if somebody has to go to the bathroom, they can look up that restaurant the same way that every time I go to a restaurant, I look up Yelp photos of the food. Uh huh. Do you know what I mean? You could, people great. literally could look up. Be like, it's a subcontext. For yeah. Poopies. Is the bathroom good, good in yeah. there? Like that. That is genius because well, it's so look, I just important. gave it up and someone's going to steal it. Someone who can build code. I would just, I think if, if for moving forward with number twos, just drop the pregnancy thing. Like, look, I need, I'm uh, sorry. I'm, I'm pr like, there's a lot of other body things happening with me right now. Can I, is there a more private one where I can, I just need, you know, well, drop that. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know what? Like as a pregnant person, I have to live with so much constipation that when it does hit me to actually go to the bathroom, like my whole body shakes from it. <laughs> like I'm, it hurts everywhere. Like I feel <laughs> it everywhere. A, you need a recliner. You need, the, you need like the, the toilet receipt. So you're just like, Ern. <laughs> like they're full on recliner <laughs> ones. It's like, I need like a head massager, foot massager to come up. Yeah. Just like take your 10 minutes, take yeah. your 20. Anyway, so I, you know, after that, I felt great. We had a really good podcast and I just felt like I had a really good day. And it was because of the sunshine yeah. to circle back <laughs> to the whole point wow. of this and how it just makes me feel so much happier. Even today, Bo, I woke up so tired because Hartford woke up before 7 a.m. And I was like, oh, this fucking asshole. Oh, I know. I heard you woke up and because was, you were just... It's, it makes me think of that meme where it's like the guy waking up and he tiptoes past his wife and he turns down the the, the phone monitor because he wants to sleep and he slowly opens the door and and he opens the door a little bit more and he slowly, quietly slides out. You this morning was like, I did something awful to you last night <laughs> and you wanted to show me how pissed off that you <laughs> still are too. in me. Getting it up out of bed, throwing the sheet over, getting up, just stop, 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 <laughs> door, bathroom, door opening, shutting it like I wasn't there. And I'm like getting like, what, what's, what's happening? I'm sorry, I didn't what's mean happening? to. Opening the door again, shutting that door, opening the other door, going out, shutting that, opening the door, refund, shut that door. And I was like. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I think I, I didn't I'm mean to. You know, I'm surprised. I was just upset because Hartford woke up so early and I had expected like when I went to bed last night, I was like, oh, she didn't fall asleep till really late. So that means she'll sleep later tomorrow. And instead she woke up earlier. So I was just not prepared. I wasn't prepared. Yeah, you, don't, you don't even come over to my side and turn down the volume. Because of... your baby monitor isn't loud. Uh, like yes, mine. it is. Well, when you get into the room and you're like, oh, babies. Hi. Can you hear hi. me? Yes, I hear you. Because my, my phone's right next to me. It's, it's on the side, just like how yours is. Yours I'm going to start loud. walking into a room being like, Papa doesn't love you as much as mommy. <laughs> 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 Papa no like. Papa no like. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... Even so, even though today I woke up in a bad mood, like the fact that the sun is shining has just made all of the difference. I feel like I'm just so much more of a pleasant person to be around when I have a little bit of vitamin D. So let's all hope on tour 
sunny days ahead. Otherwise, the audience are going to get <laughs> moody pregnant Stasi. Oh my God. This is supposed to rain tomorrow and Thursday. I know Sonia told me and I'm like, fuck! Because literally I was like, Sonia, you want to go on a walk? Let's go on a walk. Like when we got home and I was after the podcast, so we went on a walk and Sonia's like, it's going to rain Wednesday and Thursday. She's like, I think it's 100% on Wednesday. I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't win. <laughs> I can't win. That's, I didn't know that. I'm, I don't I'm think getting it's 100%. my, um, it's 80. I'm getting my new wagon. I was going to take Hartford to Universal tomorrow. No, I want it. First of all, we wanted to take, oh my God. Well, yeah, because for I, for a second, I, that was the plan. I we, wanted to take, right. we want, I've been wanting to go to Universal. We haven't gone in like a few months. And they're Super Mario World. But then we planned a podcast that we have to do at noon. So we can't anyway. So like, right, but I can't, well, not But now. you're not going without me. Why not? That would be a bitch move. <laughs> That's to, the fact that I've been saying, let's go to Universal, let's go to Universal. And I can't. And then you were to, you would take Hartford anyway. That would be well, a really bitchy like, move. No, no, the bitchy move is me going down to Disney. Universal for us. That is, big, you wouldn't you, even dream of doing that to no, me. But that, I would. I know, but Universal is literally like we can go to McDonald's. It's right there. It's literally I can see the freaking minions top head right from me from our place. <laughs> I can see Hogwarts. I, I can. <laughs> yeah. When there's when the, when the Waterworld stunt show happens, I see the explosions. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I will obviously well, you're not going. So there's that. There's 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 that. Well, we know who wears. I would have so much fucking FOMO that would just like not. You're not doing that to your pregnant wife. Like. Well, what's going to happen? Do I need what's... to remind everyone again <sighs> that I am pregnant and that I need to be treated as such? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But is it going to is it going to be also just, you know, you're going to get upset that when I go down to Super Mario World and get on the rides by myself because you can't go on there. No, that won't make me upset because you're not the one making the rules. Universal is. And I don't want to hurt my unborn child. Well, so I'm, I'm not going to go on rides for okay, myself. Good. I just don't want you to get upset because I'm having so much fun and you're just outside with our child. No, that's fine. Don't you remember when we took Hartford to Disneyland? Um Schwartz and Katie came with us and you, Katie and Schwartz went on all of the fun rides the whole entire day. And I stayed with our sick baby outside of each ride no, <laughs> and I didn't. was fine. Well, you did, but then you went off and found that. I found, found some baby, baby rides. Ride. There's eventually. no baby. There's one baby ride that Hartford can ride at universal or one. And at it's universal. Pets. pets. Right. Uh, the, the no, then there's also the baby ride, the actual baby ride. What's the baby ride? That she flies oh, around the outside. the actual, the bug thing. Yeah. It's a bug's life. And now we found out Kung Fu Panda. The live show. It's kind of fun. half ride. It's well, really it's not, fun. It, it's not half ride. The chair vibrates. That to me is a half ride. It's a, it's it goes like, like. It's like a. Uh, no, it literally just it vibrates. Does, I don't know. It feels like a ride. I was thrilled. I was exciting. <laughs> You know, people write me all the time in my DMs being like, you guys, first of all, the Vanderpump crew really loves to go to Universal. What do you guys even do there? Like when you have babies, like we get made fun of for how much we go to Universal, which I don't give a fuck. Literally, I am a Disney, like I'm I'm a Disney adult. I'm a Universal Studios adult. I'm an amusement park adult. And I'm proud of that. Like, I'm not obsessive where like, I know all the like ins and outs of everything, but I fully enjoy myself because I like fucking fun. I like fun. Yeah. And do we, I mean, do we know where all the Harry Potter, you know, secret places are to use your magical wand? Yeah, yes. But. <laughs> and do we know how to do it as quickly as possible? Yes. Yes. And do we know at time, like all the, the French girls come out and dance and then the other guys from uh, that other, the other school come out and do their. Dum, 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 yeah. The answer yes. to that is yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but look, should we tell people just real fast and then we'll get to like um your weekend and, and your whole thing. But should we just like go over what we do at Universal? I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. I think the peeps want to know it's, because it's, people it's, ask me. It's basically just peeps, a lot. I'm leaning in. It is a lot of like just chilling. You guys, it's like, okay, if you want to get your steps in, go to someplace like Universal because there's nothing. This is the thing that I don't like. The one thing I don't like, actually, there's like a lot that I don't like about living in Los Angeles. But what I really don't like about it is that it's you. It's not really a walkable city. I love Europe because it's every place is walkable. So you're walking all day long. But when you go to Universal, 
it is, it's a mini walkable city. And you just walk and enjoy yourself. There's so much to look at. There's so much there's to- There's no trash. There's, no, really, there's not. <laughs> you don't have to turn around and hope and you're not going to get mugged. Everything's fun. It's like lights and just fun there's everywhere. There's no needles on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh but so we just go to Universal so we can walk around all day. You can eat delicious snacks and food. Like All we do is the same thing. The hot dogs across the street from the Swimsons. Swimsons. Yeah, the hot dogs. Simpsons. I wrote about it in Next Level basic so that's how long i've been going to get these hot dogs and uh, when i was not pregnant we would get cocktails and just walk around and have Uh cocktails and there's a play place like a playground for babies and kids so like even if your kid can't go on a ride yet there's a playground so it's just like the best of both worlds and then if you want to just one of you want to go on a ride you just one person watches the baby or the kid and the other adult goes in the single rider line and there there's no line yeah and you can literally usually i mean you can even go with a group of four and then when you get there you, they might split you up they might not but you can literally just pass go in the single yeah the single rider line is like yeah. the, the i mean if you've never if you've never way. if you've never been just like same thing with disney if you've never been to disney world disneyland Waiting in the lines are kind of special because of all the stuff that they did to make people's to like make it fun just sitting there. So if but if you if you can go a lot to just skip, skip that shit, skip that or or pay for the, the whatever the fast pass thing is. No, I think that's it's a waste of money. We used to do that. Well, if you want to sit together, we used to do that, but then we, we used realized to do that, that you but we then we realized no, that we realized that like yeah, you can literally just go in the single rider line, and like, do you really need to sit next to somebody? I mean, obviously, if it's like a two person like thing, and you want to sit next to your partner, I guess, but no, you could just ride in it by yourself. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, like I don't need to be riding next to somebody on a two seater thing. I'd no, rather, that's weird. Like who? Riding by yourself is not weird. No, no, no. Riding with someone that I don't know. No, but they don't make you do that. Oh, no, no. Yeah. They don't make you like sit and like cuddle, scooch in, cuddle up and pull the thing down together. (laughs) Hey, stranger. They don't make you do that. So like the single rider line is just like where it's at. Yeah. God, it's such a vibe. And now we have the Super Mario Brother world. Super Mario. Yeah. Super Mario. Nintendo Super Mario World. Yeah. Just opened up last month and I have not been. No. But they have like a ride of... The why can't I think of the game? We used to play it all the time. Mario Kart is a Mario Kart ride. That's fun. Maybe pregnant person can. I don't can think go so. It's a it's a race car game. It's a race car ride. Yeah. No, yeah. Mm. I you know what I've realized that like the world isn't like pregnancy friendly. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. It's just like not like everything can that's considered fun is off limits. Well, I think they got in trouble too because <laughs> they well, it's just I think just you know. Danger, Who got in trouble? Danger. Who's they, uh, the uni- world? The Universal Studios, because the, the seat size is, was um, like a, a limit where w- they, it would affect other people of different sizes. Oh, really? Yeah. What ride? The, the new one, the Super Mario ride. Oh, interesting. I didn't know about that. So I read that like before it opened. Can we get, can we though acknowledge just for a second though, like the preg- that the world isn't pregnancy friendly and that I am a victim? I think the world is. <laughs> I feel like just USA <laughs> isn't because the, the, it seems like Europe is pregnancy um, they positive because they yeah. you, you, they get like a year off for mothers, whatever it's called, yeah. paid vacate, paid m- maternity leave. Yeah, two and years. People love pregnant people over there. People encourage you to drink wine. Fuck. <laughs> I, don't know about I mean, you. yeah, but they're they just like it. have a glass of wine. It's good for you. Like fuck yeah, it is. Thanks. But you still can't go on a roller coaster. Yeah. yeah. That's just well, a you know what? There, there's so much more to do in in Europe that like roller coaster, small coaster. You don't even need it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, pregnancy. I forgot that it just like isn't the vibe. Like you, you forget, you forget, you forget. You give birth and you forget how you didn't like it. I mean, I know a lot of women love it. Um and. After I gave birth, I was like, "Yeah, I loved being pregnant." I, know. I wish I had. I wish you would have did like a like um like a no. talking head to yourself to be like, "I just want to get it. I just want to be pregnant again, again." It's like right now, Stassi, this is the best feeling of being pregnant, and I just want to feel this again. And then cut to now. Why? No, yeah, Why? I like don't. I don't like it. Why? I think once I start feeling the baby move, I'll like it more because like that was my favorite part. Of being pregnant, I know that because you just feel so connected to your baby. You're just like, oh, it's just so magical. Everything else sucks. You can't do anything, and you're just getting bigger and bigger, and you can't do anything about that. 
You really can't because you can't go on a diet. You can't because like you literally have to like make this baby grow. So you can't be like, I'm going to watch what I eat today. Like, yeah, you can eat healthy, but meaning like you can't, it's not the time to work on your, on, on your fitness in a way where it's like, I'd like to lose some weight. Like you can't do that. I'm just going to sit here and be silent and not have any type of reaction on my face. So I don't get in trouble for, so. Please. Oh yeah. You want to hear Please. what he said the other no, day no, when I, I tried to complain? No, about no it was, I didn't mean to. Hold on. Wait. No, uh, no, it, it wasn't came even out, that it, bad. It came out bad. I was just, I was, it wasn't that bad. I, it could have been worse. Yeah. But, I was uh, complaining and I was just like, this is overrated. This pregnancy thing. Just remind me when it's all done that I, I kept that I felt this way. Don't let me convince myself that like, I loved it because I, I don't now, while I'm very lucky to be pregnant, I know it is a fucking blessing to be pregnant. There are a lot of women who can't. And so I am not like insensitive to that. Like I, every moment that goes by, like I know how fucking lucky I am that I get to do this. That doesn't mean that all the other shitty things that come along with it don't exist. Like that, like two truths can, two things can be true at the same time. So I was complaining to him the other day. Also, I was naked. So like, that's a vulnerable position to be in when you're just like complaining to your husband about like, I just don't like this. Everything is expanding. I'm. But I was saying how beautiful you looked well, before I said what I said. But before then. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, beautiful. I'm trying to even fully remember how you said you were like, really like you shouldn't be complaining now like it's only gonna get worse <laughs> and then you followed it up with something <laughs> i can't remember what it was because i was just like are you telling me when i'm allowed to complain and when i'm not and did you just say because it's only gonna get worse like i, I do, don't well, already uh, fucking know that and then what did you say and then i and then also i froze and then i pulled out a snickers and like it's time for a <laughs> <No>. snickers <laughs> <laughs> what did you say what else did you say you said you said something else i was i, I don't know i was like what part of my mind was like i don't know so your belly's not even that big it's gonna get a lot bigger or something yeah, you're gonna some, I don't bit, remember, but I don't it, it's know. like it after, was, and then I'll send the, the, you don't get to tell me when I can come, when no, I complain I know, or I, not. I just, I, I apologized a lot and I felt bad and I knew instantly, um, well, maybe like two seconds after that uh, I put my foot in my mouth and now I'm just, every time you complain, which is daily, um, every at least, daily more than that. Well, I was going to start dropping down to the, from daily into the hours and then minutes. Yeah. And then I actually have a, a start and stop on my on my watch when every time she starts to complain, I just press it. And now we're at three hours, 49 minutes and yeah. <laughs> combined. OK, yeah. well, listen, I'm just saying it's 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 pregnancy. Being pregnant is hard. And I found a, a community on TikTok, women who feel the same way that are like, thank you for being honest. Like I I found all of these TikToks where women are, are like honest about the fact that they're struggling with the things that are happening to their bodies and they feel like out of control. And, and while they're so thankful to be pregnant, like they still have all of those thoughts. And then I go to the comment section and people are like, thank you for being so honest. Thank you for being so transparent. Thank you for being vulnerable. Oh, I'm, nice I'm, on TikTok. I'm scared. Yeah. People can be very nice on TikTok. Well, you get the whole Instagram range the, of things. Oh, you, oh, I'm, yeah. No, I fucking love TikTok and I love when people rally around each other on TikTok. It's such a warm, welcoming place when they do that. Like it really is. But like all these women are like, I'm scared to complain about my pregnancy because I know how lucky I am. But like it still fucking sucks. Like it still sucks. It's great, but it sucks. It's two things are true. So what are you going to do if TikTok goes away? Oh. <sighs> I don't really think that's going to happen. She's like, I'm going to go vacation in China. I don't think that's going to happen. Do you really think not? I mean, I hope not. I don't know. I couldn't see that That really. They probably just want more money, like how when Facebook got huge. And we're, we're talking about this, too. It's just like yeah. it's always about money. I'm not taking it seriously. Kind of like how I'm not taking Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> thing seriously. Like this guy who's who's suing her and like it, it just seems like he ran into Gwyneth Paltrow and just wants some some money some fame honestly I don't even feel like it's about the money well, I feel like he just likes this like he uh, likes it no I think he wants some money sooner for he's a lot of money he's only suing for $300,000 I mean that's, she's worth that's, so much more than that I would just well, think that like if you were well, suing maybe from I don't know yeah 
she's worth so much Maybe money. Maybe his lawyer that... said this is probably the highest you can get. Interesting. I just feel like in, in things like that, it's like a million. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Well, they, people try to do that all the time. There's like, there's that one, like, um, someone who fell in front of a, like a famous person and they didn't help him up. And then all of a sudden they're like, I'm going to sue you for, you know, that's uh, like your like, worst fear. What? You talk about that a lot. Well, cause I see it a lot. <laughs> No, I, 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 see, no, I see it a lot. I, you, you literally, you do, you notice it. I never notice it though. Like when you, when you catch, like um, we're watching like a red carpet, we're watching something and like someone will fall and then someone will help or won't help. But like you're oh, paranoid about it. Well, I am. But then also I feel like there's a lot of like the fake ex, like everyone's trying to become like Keanu Reeves right now. And you can just tell they're faking it. Like that, like when, uh, what's her face? Um, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, the Oscars, like ran over to help this guy. It was like... I don't know. That just didn't seem, that just didn't seem real. But then like you see Keanu Reeves do it and it's like, see what a gentleman, like you, you can just tell people like they're going out of their way to like, to make a to, show to, of it. To, to like, or like people that record themselves giving, like giving money to the homeless and like, Oh, you're so nice. You know what I mean? It's like, really you're, you're recording your, your, your person, like a, a friend no, of them. It. It's like, I it's like, it, I it. yeah, yeah, you're, you're, I don't know. But if she didn't, go back and help him that would what if she didn't so she see couldn't... what if she didn't see i did did she actually touch him or did I he don't, just trip I don't on tri- I, I don't know I'm either not sure. i just remember that it, he kind of fell after they passed and then she went over like like a baby just like fell off like a table yeah and it just felt it just felt fake to me and i'm not saying it wasn't fake it might be real and but it was just so then when there's real things of like people when you see them on like um you know random instagram sites where it's like this guy fell or this guy touched this person and then they fell and now they're suing and you're like what's going on like i think they tried to do that with um i know they tried to do that with um matthew stafford of the rams when it was the the parade party where a photographer fell off They've been drinking on stage for an hour. He saw it, turned, saw it, turned around. And then, she, and then later they, I guess they, um, they tried, she tried to do something with him. They already paid for her, her surgery or whatnot. You're saying a lot of theys. Well, her, and a lot his of family, them. his family and the Rams like paid for her. And then, but then she did a GoFundMe on the side and made like thousands and upon thousands no. of dollars too. So I don't know. I, I just remember, always feel and I like know that's where very... your fear started. Well, what, no, I don't have a fear of myself. I kind of think you do. I don't have a fear of myself. I think one day you're make manifesting this situation for yourself. You will find yourself in this exact <laughs> situation. Someone is going to fall in front of you and you are going to have to make a, a decision. And in you know what that I'm going to do? I'm going to look at him and I'm going to go, <laughs> I drive a Subaru Outback. What are you going to take? What are you going to take? Do you want to take my, my, my 2020 used car? What? Each tire is $400. Take it. You got, I got nothing. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we can wrap that up. I want to check in with you. I feel like you should check in with um, all of our listeners because a couple of podcast episodes ago, we were talking about how you've been really, really tired lately. Like you were having like um, pregnancy symptoms. You know what I mean? Because you couldn't let it be about me. And so you were going to go and oh, wow, <laughs> maybe because I'm a Pisces and I'm also like an emotional sponge, <laughs> all of your stuff. I'm just really taking this in. And with the weather, yeah. But I, I, I'm, I was, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. You know, I can always wake up, and I know when it's when it's shitty outside because my body tells me that. Oh, so the way that I started this whole podcast episode, where you were rolling your eyes, and I was like, "You guys, the sun, it it affects you too." Well, yeah, I think it does, in a sense, f- affect us all. I think I've said this before, like you know, the the moon and everything, because we are you know ninety percent water. It does affect us. So what you're saying is astrology makes sense too. No, science makes sense. But like science makes sense. Astrology science makes sense. That what does astrology have to do with with the weather? Because where the planets and the moon and all that and the stars and all that shit are aligned. Yeah, but is the was is rain aligned? What is rain aligned? I'm just saying when it's cloudy, is that aligned with the stars? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because it might be raining above us in West Hollywood, but maybe down in like. Arrowhead, it's not. Exactly. So someone who was born at the exact same time in Lake Arrowhead and the other person in Los Angeles where it's raining in one and not, or like it's it's different. Uh-huh. They're different because of the alignment with all the things. Anyway, they, they more... how are you doing? Did And you went to your doctor's I went, appointment. I, I, I don't know. Did they I'm check still, your so, stool? 
No, I just had to. Pee, I just had to pee pee in a potty in a little cuppy. Um, I'm surprised they didn't take my stool. But I've, I've every time I've done that, it's it's been. Um, I take it home. I'm not doing that in their stall. Real talk. It's, I've never had to do that, and I'm scared. It's literally I'm worse. so well, now, terrified. I remember doing it a long time ago, and it was like, and like, wait, I'm just supposed to hold. I, I don't understand this. But now they have this thing you can put over the the toilet, and then you drop this little thing in there, and you just sit on it. But and what if your poo poo isn't like? that like yeah, what well, if it's like don't, not don't, don't the consistency slowly isn't right try to push what if so the it doesn't explode isn't right? god why are we you because what do you mean if it's not right it's it's going to come out to what it's going to come out what if it's watery then it's probably going to go in there easy it's not like soft serve where you're going <gasps> to hope that it gets in the ew okay yeah but i don't know so i so i've been with this the family practitioner <laughs> whatever for i guess since i moved here it's been the same doctor's office and the fine, the older guys finally is out, but they they always have these new people coming in. It's like a family practice, like 23 years. So my new doctor, who's like been my doctor for like, I guess, two years, young guy. He's kind of like, he's kind of a hippie in the sense. He's kind of like, look, I love that. What is it? The um, like herbal Eastern type. Eastern medicine. Eastern medicine. And I love it for my daughter and all that stuff. And I do love it for myself. Also, but, we, we, we do Western medicine for Harvard too. We do like, we do all of it. We'll take all the medicines. Yeah, but I first want to try to give her like the stuff that's not like from a ph pharmaceutical brand. And yeah, then, the stuff that isn't a Cinnabon pudding first. You know, maybe I'll give her like real cinnamon with like some like milk and then see what that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was just like, I'm tired and he's giving me, well, we're going to, um, okay, vitamin D12, 5,000 5, milligrams, take this B, whatever, 2,000. And he's like, these are really good. Also acupuncture. Here's an acupuncturist. Go there every week. Um, and then for 150, the next 150 days, um, and like every other week for the next 150 days. And then you'll start, it'll first, it'll make you really tired, but then it'll, I'm like, Shh, I'm, I'm like, oh, really? 100, 150, 150 days okay let me days. do that right before we go on our podcast tour so i'm 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 exhausted because what acupuncture does it like you know pulls out all the toxins i'm like dude i i just let me just can i just be an american real quick and just give me some drugs give me Were you something. trying to get an adderall prescription <laughs> no god no that's what this sounds like <laughs> it does sound like that but I, if i think of it there's got to be something else that gives you energy i just don't want because i'm still like, I don't want to have, um, I don't want to have the, the Clark passenger to come out, <laughs> <laughs> you know, what if that happens? Um, yeah, I don't think, I, I don't think I could, well, I, I would do that, but I'm I like exhausted. what your doctor said. I like that, but I need something now. I don't have like, yes, I can go do the Literally, acupuncture, but drugs let me have are something. the only thing that would do that. And I feel like the only things that like give you a shit ton of energy is Adderall. Is there like another? There's got to be something prescription Ansett drug doesn't. that doesn't make you psycho. That I don't like, know, but I do know with acupuncture, you do feel the effects. Like right, but it, right. But but he said you're going to be way, way more be... tired before you get better, and he says give it 150 days. Yeah, do you know many. how many days 150 days are? I do I give birth before that 150 days is, is over? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's like four. I think it's like four months, five months. That I, yeah. I will have already three, had our three son. Times four is 120. So so I'm going to need you to not times, wait 150 well, days. I'm sure 40, there are other four. things. Also, do you take vitamins? With mouth. Well, uh, well, I do now. Because vitamins help. <laughs> I do now. Vitamins help with your energy and everything when you wake up, and I'm magnesium the, helps with yeah, your mood. Yeah, no, I take I take the oh and poo poos and poo poos. <laughs> So I got my blood test and everything, and then I'm and, and I'm just waiting. Like and that's like the scary part, because then it's like, God, what if it's something else? And then I I don't know. You just get that panic attack of, of just like waiting for your results, and your whole and, life flashes before and, your you know, eyes. And I'm sitting there going like, Oh my god! Like, I haven't even like, met my son yet. What if what if what if something <laughs> happens and I don't get to see him when he's and I yeah I'm I'm, I'm like mentally internally spiraling about death. I feel like I never used to care until I had kids. And now it's like, it's like so sacred. Like I, like when there's something going on, on, on even like a freaking stupid CBS show where like someone dies of the parent, the little girl's going, no, Bobby. I'm like, oh my God, why did he have to die? And this actor who died is literally the worst actor I've ever seen in my life. But I'm like, no, Joe, don't go. Oh my God, he's dying. You know, yeah. and I'm crying on a, like a, a stupid, like 911 show. <laughs> I love when you your know? voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Nine one one shows are really emotional. I'm literally though. binge binge. I'm at the, literally I have like three episodes left this final season. I binge this show. Is that what you've been doing when I go on TikTok at night? I, you've been watching nine one one shows. No, it's this show with Angela Bassett. Oh, and um, 
it's random. It's li- yeah, it's like the the opening of the sea. It's like all those like you know CSIs, but it's, oh, yeah, it's with nine one one emergency yeah, yeah. where randomly this one fire truck company goes all over the massive space of Los Angeles. They're like they're they're based in Hollywood, but oh my gosh, there's something good. There's a fire down in Santa Monica, and they get there instantly. And yeah. then Angela Bassett's like the cop, and but it opens up with someone be like like oh wow Tina look at the birthday party, and then like there's a balloon attached with the kid that flies up in the sky. They're like oh my god. Hello, nine one one. That's possible. <laughs> well, I feel like I don't I've, know. I don't I mean, know. I've I'm always sure. saw that in cartoons, but like, but maybe, but it did. It happened, and then Jennifer Love Hewitt's in it too. It's just, it's you know, it's just trash, and I love it. I, right. I, I love Angela Bassett. So too. It's, it's making it's, you think about your own. Yeah, death. Lot, lots of lots of death scenes, and then I watched Criminal Minds uh, the last season. I just binged that. Well, two no, days I wasn't ago. asking you about what you watched. So all this just, just death stuff is <laughs> oh. in my head. Is in is in my head. You know, I've been thinking about death a lot more recently when I drive, like, and I see people walking around the streets. I'm like, if I died, they just continue doing that. Isn't that crazy that well, you, the world just continues well, on after you die? Los Angeles has had the highest amount of um, people getting hit by cars ever in the last year. Okay, that's horrible. Really? Yes. Yeah. Like, that's crazy if you look at the numbers from, from something like well, the I didn't last mean year. like car accident. Like, oh. that's not what I meant by that. I just mean like, I think about things as oh, I'm driving. Okay. I mean, when you are driving, I'm in the car. I think about death all the time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's yeah. like, Sasha's that person who it's like, I can't tell if she's like thinking or driving and watching the road. So it's like, there's a stop sign and she, or there's a, you know, a car in front and she's going this. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, is she going to stop? And she goes up in the last second. It's like, Grr! and I'm like, you could slowly like stop. I've the car. never claimed to be a good driver. Which is, I'm, I can't believe I let you drive my car. Well, you did. Awkward silence there. All I'm right. like, wow, you've never claimed to be a good driver. I, on the other hand. Anyway, really okay. So we're waiting to get your so test. So I'm waiting to get my results. And then Rob was out here again. Like, literally, I'm not even excited I for know, him. I know, like, he now it's here. like, <laughs> to, to the point, it's like. I look annoyed. Well, I'm, an, I'm, I'm annoyed in the sense because it's like, I've gone out more and, like, I've had a little bit too many more hangovers than I normally would have had. Like you like going out. But I'm just saying, I've had too many more hangovers that I've had, and I'm, like, kind of done. So every time Rob would come back in, I'm like, oh, my gosh, see, my friend, we have to do something. But then it just, he just kept coming back. He booked an acting job there, is coming back for this, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm like, okay, bro. I've seen you more than, than I have, you know, when you lived here. So this last time I was like, you don't, you just stay over at the other friend's house. We have stuff to do. But we went out one night is, is last night there on Sunday. And, um, one of our other friends, Ruben was there and, and two of his girlfriends showed up and, um, I started talking to one of them and, uh, I don't know how we got into this conversation, but it was like later on in the day. So we've had a couple of drinks and me, me, her and another one of our friends were talking about like faith and, and some other things w- which led into me to go talking about being old. We're all like in, in our forties. So we we're just talking about like checkups and what I was just talking about earlier and death. And then she ended up bringing up about, she's from Canada and she brought up about how um, uh, her grandmother had the choice to pass and, and like she was uh, with euthanasia. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know in Canada that that's allowed. Yeah, me neither. So it was just this very interesting kind of shocking story that we, she was, she told me a little bit about it, but then she was like, oh yeah, my grandmother was great. So she's showing me photos and it's like this one photo of like, you know, 15 of her family members and you know, they're all at like at a breakfast table in the house and they're, they're, they're cheersing each other with mimosas. And then just like this really nice, um, like, um, what do they call it? Just, they had all these gifts laid out, you know, just, she was showing me all these gifts that all her family brought to her and made for her, for the, for the grandmother. And then the next okay, slide, I'm going to have a, a, a question that, that might be a strange one. It might sound insensitive, but I think it's a valid question that other people would be wondering if her grandmother knows she's going to pass and that's the whole point of this why are they bringing her gifts to um put inside uh the the well because so here's here's a little backstory that i was going to get at her grandmother wasn't a very religious person uh-huh. and i also i i asked this person if i'm able to, to to talk about this too um and so they she loved like egypt and yeah. loved like Egypt things. So they made kind of like an Egyptian, like um, sarcophagus, they call it, but it would be like a casket, a I coffin. guess. A coffin casket. But a, a casket. 
That's pretty fucking pimp. And they they decorated it all Egyptian style on the outside. So then um, I guess all the gifts and like memories, you know, like you write little notes, like I miss you in the afterlife. So they had all these things. Well, yeah. And in, in the Egyptian culture, yep. they used to bury their people with all the things so that they had those things the in the yeah. afterlife. Yeah. I think this is also just I a love lot of that. memorable stuff too. And, you know, and notes. Yeah. So it, it was, it was very, it was very beautiful. And, um, so she was showing me all that stuff and then, Oh, I really love that. And it was a nice, then there was like some nice photos with like her hands and stuff. And then the next slide, it was, you know, her, um, who's, she already passed in, in the, the, the sarcophagus with all this, the gifts and everything's like surround, like she was laid on, laid on top a, of it. First of all, this is a crazy night out that you guys had. Like when I wonder, like, what do you guys sit around and talk about when you go out. Oh yeah. Well, before that we talked, we talked about, um, manual driving, like, and how like no one drives literally all, all like six of us I were do. talking about how no one, like there's like those funny, um, Jeep, uh, you know, the back of a Jeep tire, they have a cover for it. And it's like, uh, Gen Z, um, anti-theft, um, device. And it's just the picture of an, of a, of a manual stick shift. That's funny. So, because no one drives anymore. Most okay, kids out right, here, they okay, have Uber. So, so they when don't. you guys go out, you guys talk about euthanizing Everything. and driving. Driving, manual. Like all just the random. things. Yeah. Nothing's off limits. Nothing's off limits. Uh, just exciting, exciting stuff. But she showed me this. She showed me, you know, these, these beautiful photos. And then the end was a photo of her grandmother who, who passed. And it was alarming for me. Like, I've just never seen, like, because when my grandmother, uh, or my grandmother passed away when I was seven or 20. I was like, I'm done with my family. I was like, I'm done. I'm never going into to see that because it just, it really affected me. So it's like, no, going I remember into, you saying that. And yeah. you, I remember when we first started dating, you told me I don't do funerals. I won't be going to funerals. Yeah. And you went with me to my grandmother's funeral. I, well, I did because it was, it was, it was, I was not being selfish and it was for you to be with you. So it's just, it for me, it's just, it's so hard to see that that you know that person that's not that body that's left there yeah that is i know it's not them but i don't want that to be my last memory of them and i always still have that image of my grandmother looking the way she did yeah that sometimes it it takes over the great photos and the other memories that i have of what she looked like how old were you i, I think i was like 23 or 20 oh. so it, I, okay. I, I just moved to la for i was there for like three years and i remember every you know okay. but even before then when my aunt who died really young i didn't want to see her because i didn't want you know, to see her that way. So seeing, seeing that, you know, this, this woman's grandmother, like that was just so alarming and shocking that I like, I was just like, okay, like I need, I need a minute. Like, I need to get a drink like this, you know, for people that, you know, mostly that grew up in the U S this is, is kind of shocking for us. This, we don't know about this, you know, we don't have this type of option. Um, so just as ha to see that as like, I needed to take a breather go to the bar, get a, get a shot. And then came back because I was really intrigued about what she was, um, what she was talking about. She wanted to be, um, an end of life doula. So we know doulas of birth. Yeah. So she wants to go into end of life doula and I've never heard of that, but it totally makes sense. But she just, she articulated everything just so well about how Canada is able to do this and think about it. You know, it's like, there's so many times when, when a loved one, um, you know, that, you know, is ill, that's going to go away. You, you have the, the amount of time to ask them everything that you ever wanted. You have the amount of time to tell them everything that you've always wanted to tell them rather than when all of a sudden it's like, you know, I'm just going to say grand well, grandparents. Well, if somebody was, I, I don't think that's the argument. Well, that's what she was just saying. But and I, I think was, that's that's a lovely part of it. But I don't that think that's the argument no, 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 because but, you could still say that about someone who is having to suffer. You can true, still have those true. conversations. You can, you can. But also the fact that she didn't have to because you know it's like I remember my grandmother. She was in the hospital for uh, you know I think weeks, just tied up to you know tubes. And I don't know if that's if someone would want to live like that. So they have the option to you know if if the doctor tells you that you know, this, you aren't going to be here that long. You have the option to say, okay, well, I'd like to put my affairs in order and, mm -hmm. and go my own way mm -hmm. in a sense. No, I, I, I wonder why we don't have that here. I think because 
and I, this is just me, like what thought came into my brain is because we are so afraid of death. You know, we don't call it the graveyard anymore. We call it like a cemetery or we call it something. I call it a graveyard sometimes. No, but you'll never see, the, you'll never yeah, see, you'll never, graveyard. you'll never see Hidden Hills graveyard. It's like, him and here's feel like something else that doesn't say death. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's like we're always trying to mask the death with something, with something else where it's like a different name. So it's not so like skull and bones and creepy because we are all afraid of it. And I feel like maybe in other countries it, they might not have this, but I'm just thinking like Americans, you have like this, this thing. It's almost like, you know, it's like packaged meat where it's like, we don't want to show the animal of what it really came from. But if, if we lie to ourselves and know that this, this little red piece of steak right here didn't mm-hmm. come from, you know, does that make sense of what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's but like it's making just, things more pleasant, even mm, if it's not telling the full r- truth. Right. It's like, we don't want to come to that because it's, it's scary for us. You know, it's even scary for me to think of like, w- what would I do? Would I, would I go? Like my thing goes, if I did have the choice, if I knew I was going to, if I knew I was, it was terminal or something, I was going to die within the two weeks and it was going to be like the last week was going to be awful. And people are going to be wiping my butt and, you know, and life is not going to be, it's like when, when you're, when a dog passes away, I know, I know. So would I, would I want to, would I do that? But then my brain goes because of my faith, is that technically suicide? I don't think that I So here's the thing for me. I don't think that I, I could do that because I don't know that answer. Right. I don't know that answer. I think God would forgive. I, but see, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I know that. I know that, but I don't know that. I don't know that. Well, you started with, I know that. What? You said, I know that, but I don't know that. No, I, I understand. No, I'm saying I and understand. faith is I understand about having faith. And something that you, that you, and that don't, you don't have know. answers for. But you really think God wouldn't let you into those fucking I, well, into I, heaven I because you wanted to end your suffering a little bit sooner. But and, also, but also Christ suffered for us. And that little suffering is not. So I'm just I saying just more. I just don't biblical. think he's like very tit for tat like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think I don't know. I just I don't like, know. So I would sit there and and I, I would suffer. Wait, do Christians really? I thought that was a Catholic thing. It's the same thing. But it's Chris, different. it's not, but it's different. There's, it's, there well, it's, are a lot of the differences. The book's the same. Right. But like the rules. Well, that's just what, how you, uh, yes. If you want to sit there and say seven Hail Marys and, and have a, have a priest say that you are forgiven of your sins or just close your eyes and ask God for your sins for forgiveness. So you guys just have more like rules of the time. That's why we broke from the church. Cause we didn't want to deal with those rules. I just ceremonies. Well, yeah. I, I, oh, just to back to the whole suicide thing. I've never viewed suicide as like, you shouldn't do it because Christ won't forgive you. Like it's horrible because of what you're doing to those around you. But I'm just saying biblically, I'm just talking about a biblical spiritual thing of what is written in, in the book of, about killing yourself about suicide. Right. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. But that's, but you're saying you yourself, that you don't know what you would decide. Because no, I just said, I said, I it, talking through this, uh-huh. I'm going, I don't know if I could do that because of what I believe in that. So I would sit because there. Because of Jesus Christ and God not forgiving you. That part. We're just talking about don't not killing yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Like it's, it's unacceptable. I, I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm, th- that's not a, I, I'm just trying to understand yeah. your reasoning. So I would, I would live however long in a poopy and diaper suffer. and, and suffer. I would not, I would not, I would really like that choice. And especially because I wouldn't want to like sp- spend the money on putting myself in like in that situation well, in hospice to be like, have all of that when like I could just make the decision for myself to go in the way that I would like to with my family and like that money that would have been spent on keeping me alive for a life a life I don't want anymore I could give to my children or you can just take an Italian class pass your B1 test get Italian citizenship (laughs) and then when that does happen we can just go to Italy where it's free you can get euthanized uh, not Italy, but you can, but the hospital and all that type of stuff. You're oh, not, the healthcare you're not, is healthcare. free. That's probably yeah. why the U.S. doesn't do it, because you pay a lot of money to keep someone alive and comfortable. Oh, the that's US a good. The sucks. I mean, we're so fucked up. It's really The rules up. are so fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, wonderful place to live, you guys. Like, truly. But like, no, we're not, it's like, so love, fucked love up. Stuff leave that it. is not great. <laughs> like, that because is. Because it's money. Think about the pharmaceutical companies exactly. that charge all that stuff. Think about, the, think about the that one that awful human company. being who just, like, bought that one brand of, like. Y'all, I'm going to run for president. 
And I'm just going to be like, I'm changing the rules. You do it, girl. I'm going to run for press and I'm going to fucking change the rules. (laughs) Because I'm over it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be changed. Wow. Well, that's just so crazy, Bo. I don't think that you're going to have to make that decision anytime soon. No, I know. But it was just, it was such an interesting conversation, like, to talk to her about this. And, um, yeah. And, you know, and it's like, I, I see both sides. Like, could I do it? No, but I do see the fact that it would be great for like, do I wish that happened to my grandmother and she ended up wanting to do like, if she did that, I would be like, oh, wow, this is great. This, I can ask all these things rather than me not being able to say that much to her at the end. You, you know? know, what's so funny though, is that like, I spent the last few days with my grandmother and she went out of being so with it. Like she was giving me like her like clothes, her jewelry. We were talking about just like normal things like hanging out. But she didn't want to have any of those conversations mm-hmm. of like, let me tell you something I've always wanted to tell you. Or you tell me. Do you know what I mean? Like, or maybe we've just had those conversations. I was a gangster or something cool. Like, you well, know? No, I mean, like maybe like we've we've been close our whole life. Like we, my whole life we've been close. So maybe there, it was unnecessary, but it wasn't like that. Like I think back to those few days that I spent with her and they were very fucking normal. Isn't that crazy? How normal like they were just like nothing was going on. But like I knew, I knew she was literally giving me her things because we knew. Yeah. But like she wouldn't have those conversations. Well, maybe she just didn't. She was living in the moment. That's what it felt like. You know, and if something popped up to her, it's like, you know, she's lived a lot longer than you've been alive in the sense of like before you came around. So she had like such a full life that maybe she didn't need need to sit there and reminisce. You know, sometimes reminiscing. She's like, I'd rather sit there and and look who I have in front of me. Yeah. And be with my granddaughter. Yeah. You know, but it's also maybe you could have been there and asking more questions or doing asking things of tell me about like. How was it in the I 20s? And I, what did you, you know, I didn't but, want to allude to the fact that this was the end. Like when see, she was thing, giving me the death, like we're afraid of it. That it's like even talking Good about point. that, you don't want to sit there and bring it up. Like even like going, oh my God, you can't even joke about death no, yeah, while when, you're waiting for your blood work. You know what I mean? No, it's like, yeah, no, you're right. I guess it was me like not wanting to address it. Cause like, even when she was like, go over there to this like jewelry box, I need you to get that, that, that. I want you to have that. Like I couldn't, handle it i was just like grandma thank you but this is dumb (laughs) grandma this is dumb thank you but this is dumb like so let's talk about something else do you know what i mean like i couldn't talk about how this was the end and she she could but she was just she was like focused on you know i'm gonna she knew yeah maybe i had a feeling which is why she was doing this and she was was the whole reason i was there right and she you know she she knew that that what was going on. So it's like, she's had a long life. So I think, you know, they always say at a certain, when you get older, you just know, it's like, we've seen it on documentaries and movies. They just knew they were ready. You know, they lived a long, great life. How lucky to have, to be able to have that feeling, the people that that happens for yeah, happen, like that they get to live a really long life and to the point where like, they're ready. Yeah. And like they're not really in that enough. much pain. I don't feel like my grandmother, my grandmother wasn't in that much pain. Like she was just, old yeah you know so like it Super was lucky. truly the best fucking situation it was like all anyone could you could ever hope for someone and then to be surrounded by your family like fuck like Winning. damn Winning. you really won life yeah. you won that like life lottery shit like i hope when i go i'm like oh i'm to the point where like i'm i'm ready and i feel comfortable with this and i want to give my jewelry to like i don't know hartford's kids you know and all those kids and our what, are, you know the, the new one but he's not, he's not going to get married. <laughs> so what is that? <laughs> I just have more of a connection with Hartford right now. <laughs> oh, really? But your son, your beloved. <laughs> anyway. My son. Oh, this was a, we went, we went, we went over an hour. Um, so oh, hopefully just, everyone stuck around yeah. to the end. It's just interesting. It's, uh, it's I don't know. I, I would love no, to it's hear. Very interesting. I would love to hear, read some of y'all's thoughts too. Just reminds me of that, uh, Amelia Clark movie. Whoa. That's a tearjerker. What the Christmas love one? What oh, you last, before me? Oh, you before me. That's a good one. Oh, uh, he oh, chooses. Really? Yeah, he chooses. Yeah. He now I won't say what his choice is because no, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the choice. He gets the choice. I don't want to ruin the movie for people, so you don't know whether he chooses yes Was or no. It good. It's a great movie. Oh. I I really like it, but it's just fucking sad. Like uh-huh. either way, like whether he like the the decision, the whole process of making that decision is sad. So, so like I'm just trying not to give yeah. away too much, but yeah. it's about that. Yeah. Anyway. 
thank you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. I hope to see you guys on tour. This is what we have one more podcast episode before we go on tour. Two. two. Oh, two, two, two. Feels like we're going like in a few yes. days. Yes. <laughs> tomorrow it feels like now you know it really does i gotta pack uh, okay um bye guys bye.